Okay, um, here's the uh, <clears throat> start of the Sherpa snorkel problems that I've had. I've just ordered it online, the snorkel. Came here, it took a fair while to get here for starters. Um, so you get the template. Everyone that's ordering these things would have heard about the template that you get with it. So this is my experience. This is the template here that you get. <coughs> uh, you basically cut it out. There's the scissor lines there. You cut it out and it fits up onto the top of the guard of the car. And then there's some holes that you line up that are meant to line up with the actual snorkel. Um, so my experience again, uh, I'll just show you. This hole was, wasn't on the actual template. I had to locate this hole. These are generally the holes, these are the holes that are marked on the template and you can see where I've had to remark the holes before I drilled it. I've already done all this, but I thought I'd better go through it with everyone, with with everyone just to show the issues that I've had. Here's one that's literally almost 25 mil out and out of alignment, way out of alignment. These ones here are way out of alignment as well. I don't know what it's from. Is it to do with the molding of the captive nuts in the actual uh, snorkel itself? Or whether this template's wrong? If it's for another vehicle, perhaps? I don't know. So that's the start of it. Um, I've gone ahead and redone this, re, remarked the holes in the snorkel. What I did was I just used a, basically a lead pencil and I held the snorkel onto the, the back of this and stuck it to it and it was a bit of a task. I relocated them all with a lead pencil as you did in the old days and uh, that got me the holes and then I drilled the holes according to those. So eventually I got it on. I got the holes drilled in the guard and now I'll go to the next stage.